Hey, you guys want to know what oil to use to season your new smoker? Heck, use one of these. I did. Hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're a first time viewer, hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think. Give me a comment down at the bottom. Woo! Hey, good morning, guys. Rico here, Rico's Place. How you doing this morning? I'm glad you stopped by. If you haven't figured it out yet, I upgraded to a new smoker. I ordered me a couple weeks ago, I ordered the Hammer Forge Beast Reverse Flow Offset Smoker. I'm pretty excited about this smoker. It's, it's bigger, it's beefier, it's a, well, it's a beast. It, uh, it's made, made in Canada. Uses uh, American-made steel. There's a USA distributor, and I'll put their uh, their logo or icon or whatever it is they have uh, corner or something for you. Uh, they're out of New Jersey. It's a uh, uh, Josh and Mackenzie. I think it's Josh. She she would mention other names, Bill and Mike, and I don't know. But I think it's Josh and Mackenzie. Uh, talking with them on the phone and such hey 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 what's this what's this you know pricing all that kind of stuff um Odie is that you come here Odie bud come here Odie Odie come here Odie Odie it's Odie hey buddy hey buddy Odie I had Odie out this morning he took his little jaunt around the great fields and then he comes back after he goes and sees his girlfriend or whatever it is he does I see you buddy so uh, don't breathe on me um, so we got pricing down to where I could afford it and you know well, my budget because I saved up money and you know used other money from here and here hey, don't you pee on that wood Odie Odie don't pee he pees on everything um, so we kind of figured it out we got it shipped here it took a took a week took a week to get here Ended up, I got it on Friday. This is Sunday. So I got on Friday and, you know, got it off the pallet, did all that kind of stuff. Now, what we have to do to the beast made by Hammer Forge is we got to season it and I didn't season my old uh, Oklahoma Joe when I first got it I just figured that first cook seasons it and such and you put in I don't know if it made a difference or not but I did a little research watched a couple pretty cool videos on it and stuff and it's all on who who you listen to and how they word this stuff but there's basically, in my mind, three reasons why we season your pit. One is, we're getting it up to a temperature without any food in it, and steel and stuff like that has a residue left on it after the manufacturing process. And so, that burns off all the residue, or the paint residue, any, any chemical residues that are left in the, in the fire. Maybe there's some really little tiny... Um, metal shavings in there something but it just kind of gets all that yucky impurity stuff out of your out of your pit and that's a good thing I guess you know Rico don't worry about that kind of stuff though the second reason Odie oh, quit bugging the puppies I gotta go feed the puppies here in a minute maybe they'll shut up um, reason number two for seasoning your new smoker is They say it protects the metal and, and fights off rust and it, it, it helps save your, uh, your paint on the actual smoker itself. And that kind of makes sense to me because if you think about it, a cast iron pan, you're just getting a coating over that pan of residues and food and, and oils and, and all that kind of stuff. They're not going to let me talk. Let me go feed them. I'll be right back. Okay, so got the puppies fed. They were kind of hungry, so I, I couldn't make them wait any longer. Odie, come here. Come here, buddy. Odie. Odie. Uh, where were we? Oh, I think num the number, t number two reason. 
Um, deters rust, protects the paint, kind of puts an initial first coating over the paint on the inside. Okay. Now, I watched I watched quite a lot of videos on this because I well, I knew Rico probably needed a little direction, but some would with oiling. Because what you do is you put a coat of oil over it and then bring the, the thing up to temp and cook it a while. But some were only doing the inside and some were doing the inside and the outside. I, it makes sense to do the outside if you're deterring rust and you are trying to protect the color in the paint maybe. There's more moisture on the outside of the smoker than there is on the inside. So that makes sense. Okay. Then one guy, I forget his name, he was pretty, I'll give him a shout out, but I don't remember his name. I kind of liked, I started watching some of his other videos. Um, he used one oil inside the machine, the smoker, and a different oil on the outside. And I, he didn't really, at least I missed it, I don't remember him saying why he did that. So that brings us to oils. Most people are just using this cooking spray, the PAM, or the generic or whatever it's it's canola oil and they're just spraying everything it's easy right it's easy they just think all they have to do is spray everything okay so that's an option uh, you can use just pure Wesson oil out of the container that's no big deal I, I thought one guy used safflower oil I don't even know why I have safflower oil it's open but I don't know why I have it okay Olive oil, of course, old standby. Yeah, we could do that. New craze a couple years ago came out, the avocado oil. I use quite a bit of that. I kind of, olive oil and avocado oil, I go back and forth on that. Hammer Forge recommends using grapeseed oil. Okay. I went and bought some grapes. I'm going to do what the manufacturer says. That way, if I have any issues down the line, uh, McKenzie can say, hey, well, you know, what oil did you use or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to use that. Now, the guy that used two oils, he did safflower oil. No, no I'm sorry. He did grapeseed oil on the outside, but in the inside, uh, I think you can see this here. He used peanut oil. And peanut oil, I, I, I do a lot of deep frying. Well, not a lot. I used to. But I use deep, uh, peanut oil. Okay? So you could do that. You can use peanut oil if you want. And there's probably a few other good oils to use. Now, what do all these oils have in common? Why do we use these particular oils? They tolerate high heat. Their burn point is a little hotter okay so 340 or above and that's important because we don't want to burn the oil in the machine the beast the hammer forge the smoker we don't want to burn the oil we're cooking it so it it it, 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 it takes the heat and that's important so today what we're gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use Grapeseed oil. The third reason why we're, we, we season our, our, our smokers is, and I like this idea, and this makes more sense out of anything. It makes you use your new smoker before you put a piece of meat in it. So you, like when I started smoking five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, I don't know when it was, when I, I entered a, a cook-off and didn't have a smoker so I went and bought it at the Oklahoma Joe and didn't know anything about smoking started practicing I threw away a lot of meat because I didn't know what I was doing didn't know how to regulate it okay so by seasoning it and working it once you get to see where the temperature goes and you can play with your uh, exhaust vent and your intake vent uh, and, that, and that's all a good thing you could get to be one Obi Kenobi, be one with the, the smoker. I think that's it. Let me do a quick, quick recap for you. Find an oil that has a very hot 
hot, hot, high heat tolerant, a very high burn point, because we're not burning the oil into the smoker, we're cooking it into the smoker. Okay, we just want to cook it. Uh, get your smoker all oiled up, inside, outside. Put a fire in the firebox. Go ahead and bring that temp up to 350, 4, 400, 4 o'clock, 400. Let's cook it for about three hours maybe or all day. I don't care what you do. Just cook it. And you're ready to go for your first cook on the next burn. Hope this was helpful. Uh, I probably left out a few details, but I think I hit. I think I hit the most important points. Just season your grill. Get to know your grill. Practice on your grill. Easier to practice when there's nothing in it, so you're not ruining any meat. But practice, and when you feel confident or not, put a chicken or something in the smoker and just uh, try it. Learn by doing. This is Rico, Tie-Dye Cowboy, wishing you and your family well, guys. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Saludes.